So in this video, I just want to talk about slicing arrays in Python. So let's build a little array and then we'll go into what is slicing. So we'll have our array, we'll call it array one, you know, a, a really inventive name. It's actually a list, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. The point is just that we get a bunch of items together. Okay. Doesn't matter what they are just matters that we have these items can't remember if true is supposed to be capitalized okay yeah it's meant to be capitalized yeah yeah too many languages i'm playing around with okay so we've made our array let's just check here in the panel that it prints out correctly that's fine p l and true we're all good we've got our array now what is splicing splicing is when Sorry, slicing. Slicing is when you take out a slice of an array to be used rather than use the whole array. Or you can call it a whatever array list collection, whatever. You can you can do this with strings as well, by the way. So We've already seen sort of examples of slicing. For example, if I print out array one zero, that will give me item zero of the array, which is actually the first item in the array, which should be three, right? And so three is a very small slice of that array. There are actually other things I can take from this array. so just gonna explain that so this prints out free a small slice of our array and now I'm just gonna show you you can actually print out much larger slices of an array so we could print out the whole array and we can have zero two whatever number so we can have it to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seventh item would be true, okay? And if we print this out, why don't you guess what we'll get? We get the whole array except for true. And the reason is because we get zero to seven exclusive of seven. Inclusive of the zero item, which is uh, item zero of the array is free, so the first item of the array, but exclusive of the seventh or item seven of the array, should I say, which would be the true value, right? If I wanted to get the whole array by slicing, I would have to do this. Maybe. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. And I've got the whole array. But, hey, why, why do I have to count all these numbers? What if my array's got 55,000 items in it? Well... We can get the whole array by specifying, first of all, the number we want to start from, and then just putting the this, uh, what's it called, a colon here, I think it's called. And this will get zero to the end of the array. Right, oh, it's array one, not just array. It's the zero item and array one. But you're probably looking and thinking, well, this is a slice of the array because we're getting all items except the last one. But this is just the whole array. You know, what's the use of this? And in true, maybe maybe you're using a function. Maybe there's a reason why you have to use this instead of just using the whole array. But really, it serves very little difference uh, when you look at it from importing the whole array. So how can we get, you know, just a certain number to another certain number? Well, I can print array one and I can slice and this first number here is actually the array number we want to start with and it's inclusive of that first number so let's say I want to start with uh, item two of the array and remember arrays or lists or whatever they start at zero so zero one two would give me from seven right so from seven so I'm gonna say item two we're gonna start at seven and we're going to go till 9. So it would be 2, 3, 4 would be 9. 
Now, if I put in 4, I'll only get 8 because it's exclusive of 4. So we've got to get plus 1, 5. And we should get here 7, 8, and 9. Let's see what happens. And here we've got 7, 8, and 9. You can see, so the start number is inclusive. This one is not. This is exclusive. So this, even though it's actually uh, item number 4 of the array or array number 4, I have to put five because it's not inclusive this number You're probably thinking well that's really cool but i just want the whole array except the last the last item okay well i can do that we can just put print array one we're going to say zero two minus one and let's see what we get and we get everything except this this true value here so here we're saying it doesn't matter how long the array is i just want this item number to the up to the end of the array minus one item from the array right we can also print for example array one oops i need to put the one i can actually put to minus two if i want right so this array will go all the way to minus two and then i won't get this l either and this is the slice i've taken out of that array now we can actually use free arguments when we're putting these brackets by the side of an array so the third argument actually dictates not the start and end uh, val values that we want but how many values you want so for example let's say i want to get this whole array apart from the last value but i only want to get every two every second value so i want to get four i want to get eight and i want to get p i don't want the rest well here this last value tells me what increments of items i want so here i'm saying two and i'm actually going to get three because it's the first value i'm going to get seven i'm going to get nine and i'm going to get l so we get the first item because zero is always inclusive which is free we get seven because it's two uh, increments by two we get nine and we get l so this changes the increment right we can actually have negative increments but i won't get into that too much now so i can change the increment again and we can get every third number so we'll say array one just make it simple we won't do minus one we'll just do to the end like that so i can put two colons after each other and we'll put three and we want every third item so we should get three then we'll get eight and then we'll get l hopefully i could be wrong might have messed this up let's see we get three eight and l so if you want for example the last argument but you don't want this argument here you can simply do that in fact i actually think you can just for example put this and it gives a it gives the, it should give the same result i could be wrong let's try it it gets the same result because the default value of this is zero the default value of this is up until the end and the default value of this is one okay so you've got three arguments just trying to remember that right now let's say you want to i don't know you instead of wanting to get every second item you want to get every second item from the back of here right so you say okay we're going to start at let's say the third item which would be seven and we are going to go to the end by minus one each time. What's going to happen here? Might crash actually. It doesn't. It doesn't crash. So we're actually getting it in negative order by by saying that we want this to be negative. We get this in negative order here. What happens if I say we want? Because I can actually say that we want, for example, array value four. To array value one minus one right and this means that we'll get 
uh, I think it's nine we'll get and it'll go all the way to four exclusive four so we should get nine eight and seven here yeah we've got nine eight and seven so basically by putting a negative number instead of getting the second or item if you put two you get the minus second item right and that's that's how that works in fact you can actually use slicing to get an entirely reversed array so if we start for example at minus one all we just yeah we just start at minus one inclusive we'll start at true and we should get everything backwards hopefully See, there we go. True LP nine eight seven four and three. Strange how that works, isn't it? So yeah, just a very simple guide to slicing. You know, go back over it if you want. Don't worry, the file itself will have more explanations like this one, so that you can go back over it. But yeah, essentially, the the main thing I want to take you away is that you can take small slices or large slices, whatever slice you want out of any array whether it be a list or a string um i should show it on a string actually just show it quick quickly on a string so we'll print out for example um hello and we'll get item one to all so it'd just be hello without a h right it works in a print there we go so you can use it on string that's true but yeah what you should take away from this is you can put take slices from all kinds of arrays and you can take them in backwards order in forwards order you can take any part to any part from any part to any part essentially you don't have to get a whole thing you know you can't it's not like you have to start at four and take every single individual item from four up until the end or up until whatever point you can take increments of two increments of three the point is you can take slices um, out of arrays in Python and there's quite a lot of freedom as to how you can take a slice. Anyways, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed.